Disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Father Stephen Glenn Cherist, seen in this video giving a homily from 2012, first ordained 38 years ago. Father Glenn's fall from grace began last night when Polk County deputies say he asked an undercover deputy for oral sex in the woods near the Lake Fanny boat ramp. According to Holy Spirit Catholic Church in Lake Wales' Facebook page, he was just confirmed last month as their pastor. The comments poured in celebrating his new role as their leader. Costa Mesa police officers and Orange County District Attorney investigators arrested Catholic priest Dennis Lyons at a community center near his home in Leisure World, Seal Beach. Dennis Lyons is charged with four felony counts of lewd acts upon a child under the age of 14. Monsignor William Lynn, the first official in the Catholic Church convicted of a crime for shielding priests known to be predators, learned today he'll have to pay a three to six year penance behind bars. A Sacramento area priest is under arrest charged with lewd and lascivious acts with a minor 32-year-old father, Uriel Ojeda, turned himself in to Sacramento police. The client report excavates the dysfunction, the disconnection, the elitism that dominate the culture of the Vatican today. The rape and the torture of children were downplayed or managed to uphold instead the primacy of the institution its power, its standing, and its reputation. Like a volcanic eruption, the filth hidden by those lurking in powerful places is bursting forth. The Catholic Church, well known for its history of child sexual abuse, is now opening a new chapter on the open, secretive abuse of its nuns. The Washington Post reports the official said that the church has focused much of its attention recently on protecting children, but that vulnerable adults deserve the same protection. Consecrated women have to be encouraged to speak up when they are molested, the official told the AP. Bishops have to be encouraged to take them seriously and make sure the priests are punished if guilty. Take them seriously? Here we are in 2018 and the Catholic Church is still acting as if it's the Middle Ages. Even as the former Archbishop of Washington, D.C. D.C. Cardinal Theodore McCarrick lost his red hat and title over a growing sex abuse scandal. The first cardinal in known history to lose that title. This after men have come forward detailing how they were abused under McCarrick's authority. The underlings reflecting the culture of those at the top are falling. Whether it's the District of Criminals cherished cardinal or CBS executive Les Mooms or a growing list of prominent Hollywood actors and directors, the time to finally face their abuse has taken center stage but they won't go quietly. Their wrath will unleash its terrible power on those that speak the truth. Look, what's happening now, Donald Trump is authoritarian. He wants people to believe that the only truth, the one and only truth comes from him. This is the hallmark historically of authoritarian regimes. And that's when he says, don't believe what you see and read, you know that old story. You compared it to, to Orwell's and, and, and what you wrote. You, you said uh, when he said, don't believe what you see or what you hear, it's, that's not what's happening. You said it's like, it's like 1984. It's dystopian. Well, it is. It's straight out of Orwell. And it, or, Orwell, uh, you know, what he wrote, it, it's practically a shooting script for Donald Trump. I'm, uh, Donald Trump. I'm not suggesting that Donald Trump read it. The evidence is he doesn't read very much. I don't think he's read Orwell. The revolution has been betrayed. I am not one of the leaders of that revolution, so who should know better the ideals for which we fought? All these professors, all the Antifa, all the government workers, all of them are exponential. Their identity was they hate America. Their identity was they hate families. Their identity was they hate Christians. Their identity is they're going to break up free market. They're going to run America. They're going to be in control. They hate flyover country. And now they see the economy at 4.1. They see the sovereignty coming back. They see globalism in trouble and they are evaporating. They are panicking. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to respond. An American civil war of morality. Morality and ethics. This republic was built on. John Bound reporting. <laughs>